Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this is for the week of September 2nd through the 8th. I was about to say August for some reason. September 2nd through the 8th, um, 2024. And as I'm shuffling up these cards, I just want to threaten you guys with violence real quick. If you don't subscribe, I swear to God. I swear to you, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something. But I know that most of you are not subscribed and I'm out here trying to like make my dreams happen. So one of those dreams is having successful YouTube channels. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I post weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly for y'all. So it's the least you can do. All right, this week we are going to use six cards, two rows of three from the Philly Tarot. So let's dive straight into it. Aquarius, what is in store for you? First card out, we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay, I'm definitely seeing this week is one of recuperation. Okay, recuperation, especially financial and physical recuperation. I just have a feeling that a lot of Aquarius energy folks, um, this previous week to the one we're reading about, you may have been really spending money. Okay, going out, vacationing, um, like going out with friends, just, just a lot. And if any of you are like business owners or entrepreneurs, uh, freelancers, you may not have been even making that much money to begin with. So yeah, <laughs> things may be a little bit unbalanced financially at this time. And so this week may be a week of recuperation. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm eating inside. I'm making my own food. I ain't going out at all this week. You know, one of those weeks. And even physically, this could be a huge thing. Like for example, uh, if you just like ran a marathon <laughs> or just went really hard uh, doing something, you know, you just may be like, you know what? I'm sitting my butt on the couch this week. <laughs> so that's really cool. I like the energy though. It's not bad. Oh my gosh. And yes, this is literally the perfect next card to get the 10 of pentacles. So yeah, you are definitely successfully uh, recuperating them finances. So I'm really happy to see that for you. 10 of pentacles is a fantastic card financially. There, there will be some, some good money coming in. This is also a fantastic card when it comes to love and home and family. You know, th there's a domestic um, harmony that I'm seeing for you really enjoying your close intimate relationships, friendships, family members, etc. It's looking fantastic. So we love to see that. Uh, I just got an image in my head of um, adjusting something with a pet. So if you have a pet there, you could be adjusting something like for example, if you have like a cat uh, that's like peeing all over the place, <laughs> you may be getting like an extra litter box or removing any of like the carpets that they may have peed on. Or if, if you have like a dog, you may be adjusting something like maybe you're making a little doggy door. Maybe you are uh, starting to take them on daily walks or something like that. I don't know why. I, the random message. If you have pets, you may be adjusting something about their um, their schedule, their routine to make them happier. So, or even like adjusting the foods that they eat. Maybe it could be like healthier or something. I don't know. We have the Empress coming out. Wow. I, I love this series of events that are like unfolding here. You go from the 10 of the two of pentacles in reverse, which is like no money, no energy. And then that takes you to the 10 of pentacles. It's like, okay, actually a lot of money and a lot of energy is flowing in. It's very fulfilling. And then that takes you to the Empress, which is like, we have Betsy Ross here, um, which is just like complete and utter abundance, trusting that Mother Earth will provide. And, you know, you have the skills and the talents to constantly make more money, regather the energy, uh, and off to the next thing. I think you have a very fertile mind and energy. So even, for example, this can show up like, let's just say you're finishing up a big creative project. It's like when you're like almost done that project, your mind immediately has another idea <laughs> of a project that you want to do. That's like fertility in your energy. And I'm seeing that fertility like really radiating from you. It's like once you finish one idea, you already have 12 more. You know, once you finish one um, thing that you're getting paid for, you have 12 more jobs you can take on. You know, it, it's really great. And I feel like you have skills, like you have a nice skill set that people really desire, that people want to work with. And uh, that skill set also brings about this creative freedom. And there's just so much you can do with it. You know, you invested in yourself in the past to have certain traits and talents and skills and um, just personality, you know, you invested in your own personality, you watered your own garden and uh, that created 
an abundance, an absolute abundance of beautiful opportunities, people, energies, ideas uh, that will continuously flow towards you. And we see that in the Empress with this water flowing towards her. And this water represents creative ideas, loving relationships, etc. Always on tap, always an abundance, always some opportunities there for you. So this week's looking really, really great, Aquarius. I'm not going to lie. Very fertile, very uh, abundant. Second row of cards out. You got to be kidding me. You have the Ace of Swords. I'm not surprised that an Ace is coming up because the Aces are always just so positive. And actually, this so this is the Philly Tarot, right? And this is a quill. And uh, I believe this is Constitution Hall. This is where the uh, Constitution or the Declaration of Independence or something was signed in this building. Um so yeah, it's, it's that building basically started a whole new country, which is exactly what the Ace of Swords energy is all about. You know, a new direction, a new change in your life, uh, whether you're starting your own country or just starting a whole new project or goal or uh, communicating like a new relationship, something like that. It does feel very much uh, like your mind is clear, though. Your mind is in a beautiful, fertile place where ideas just keep flowing in. We keep coming back to that. And um, so I wouldn't be shocked if you start a new creative project this week. We have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. And like right underneath that Ten of Pentacles, too. This is a fantastic week for money, Aquarius. A fantastic week for uh, helping people out as well. Um, it may be somebody important's birthday this week for you. So if you have any Virgo friends who were born this week, um, you may be getting them a gift or uh, I'm just saying happy birthday to say the least. I don't know why that message just came through. Um, but yeah, Six of Pentacles is fantastic. It shows helping other people out uh, when you can. Like if you have extra time and you can help a friend out, you can do that. If you have extra money and you can help someone out, you can do that. You know, we all have an abundance somewhere in our life, whether that's money, whether that's time, whether that's um, ideas, you know, there's always some area of our life where we're extremely blessed beyond like what we need. And you can pour generously to others from that abundance. You don't have to pour from the place that you may be lacking. Like if you don't have that much money, you don't have to donate money to charity, you know, whereas if you have a lot of time and not a lot of money, maybe you can donate to charity by uh, volunteering. You know what I mean? It's like you can be generous and give from places of abundance. I feel like that's actually generous. But when you're giving from a place of lack, it can sort of create a nastiness uh, within you where you start like expecting uh, more in return. So just make sure that you're not pouring from any empty cups this week. This is definitely a week of recuperation, as I said. And I do definitely feel like there are outside forces, whether that be people or opportunities, uh, that are pouring into your drained or empty cups, if that makes sense. Like if you don't have a lot of time, for example, there's going to be people who want to help you out this week uh, to help you save time, you know, whatever that looks like for you. If you're lacking money, like there could be business coming through, you know, and that's the give and take of the universe, you know, give from where you feel abundant, wherever that is, like look hard within your life and within yourself, because there will be various places where you are abundant, where you are blessed. For example, I'll, I'll use my own personal life. When I had literally no money, like literally zero, I was making a very low amount of money. I did have an abundance of books <laughs> and like artistic um, supplies for some reason and makeup. I don't know why. Like I just kept getting those things for free. I just kept finding amazing books for very discounted or whatever. And so when I would, you know, want to be generous with people, give people gifts or whatever, I would like make them these beautiful hand-drawn paintings and um, lend them books all the time, you know? So I, I was able to still give quite abundantly to others, even when I had literally no money, you know? And I also had an abundance of like ideas in my mind of different things I wanted to do business-wise. And so instead of crying <laughs> about my lack of money, I just took action on those business ideas and poured from where I was blessed and, and where I was abundant. Uh, however, there was a point in my time when I had no money where I kept like extravagantly spending money uh, on people who did not return the favor and it definitely created some negative tension because it's like you don't even understand what I just gave you I just I just gave you my meals I just gave you my 
my bills being paid. You know what I mean? So don't pour from where your cups are empty, pour from where they are abundant. And you'll see that that's the nature of this world. Like when you're generous, when you give to others, you will receive an equal, if not more amount, and you'll receive it in the way that you most need to receive it. And you just need to trust that process. But when you're pouring from your empty cups, it's not going to have the same effect. (laughs) You know, it's not going to have the same like give and take. So pour from where you are abundantly blessed, not from where your cups are empty. And I promise you, there will be random influences in your life out in, on the outside of you uh, that will come and help pour into the areas that, that you need help with, you know? <laughs> For example, like let's just say you have a lot of tech knowledge, like you're really good at like technology, IT stuff, but you don't have any money, you know? Uh, you can start offering to help people with their tech stuff and maybe in exchange they want to pay you, you know what I mean? It's like you can start a whole business off of this concept. Um, that's the give and take of life. And then we have the queen of swords coming out stunning. Yes. The queen of swords is definitely somebody. Well, first off, this is you and your power. (laughs) This is you and your divine feminine power. And this is somebody who understands that give and take that push and pull of the universe. And that's the thing. This is where the law of attraction uh, comes into play because with the law of attraction, you basically state what you want and then you release it. You let it go. You trust that the universe will manifest it for you, you know? And when you set that intention, you're basically uh, creating a magnet within yourself for things that vibrate at that frequency to come towards you. Now there's always energy moving around. And when you give, when you sacrifice, the world has to give back to you because again, we live in an an extremely balanced universe. That is like the mathematical fabric of this universe. When there's a certain amount of light, there's going to be a certain amount of shadow. You know, that's just always balanced yin yang energy, Uh, a very neutral balanced universe. So when you set your intention of what you want to receive after you have given generously from the the cups, the areas of life that you have abundantly, uh, energy will return back to you and it will most likely return back in the way that you sort of magnetized it to come back, like how you set the law of attraction up for yourself. So some people who feel like the law of attraction isn't working for them, it's usually because they're not really pouring or giving from their abundance, you know, so they may set the intention, I want to be a millionaire, but then they're sort of just waiting for their million dollars to show up. And it's like, okay, but what are you giving? What are you sacrificing? And this is the exact premise that witchcraft was built off of, by the way. Um, and a lot of spiritual practices, you know, you have to sacrifice something in order to return something. And, you know, in the olden days, there were some cultures that did like human sacrifices, a little dramatic for my tastes. Um, you know, I think a good sacrifice would be like a sacrifice of your time or of the resources that you don't need or, you know, some piece of your life force energy um, to give to those who need it. And again, like it'll come back to you in the way that you focus on, you know, on, on the way that you intend for it to come back to you. So I don't know, very abundant, extremely abundant week, um, definitely a week of big recuperation. And it feels like you're mastering the law of attraction, mastering Uh, the push and pull, the give and take, and learning how to really, really trust the universe. You know, if there's like a spiritual trust that you have cultivated this week and it's working wonders for you. I mean, this is a fantastic week for money and blessings and fortune and abundance. And we do see you starting even like new projects, new ideas, constantly setting new intentions, which is exactly how life is meant to flow, you know? So that's so beautiful. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonates down below and subscribe if you have not already. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. And if you want a personal reading with me, one-on-one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.